Hey guys, Alex Ray here and welcome to another exciting vlog. I'm at my favorite place as you can see, Total Motor Works, and today is going to be a great day because we're talking about suspension. Suspension? Did someone say suspension? Whoa, what do we got here? What? Yusik, those are actually parts from Germany. And speaking of which, they're not just any parts from Germany, the, the German god himself Mr. Mario at MK Ren Sport Technic has blessed us with full kinematics. Yusik, you want to take over from this? Sure. Okay. Hey, it's Yusik at Total Motor Works. Today we've got a really exciting thing to talk about. These beautiful control arms from MK Ren Sports. And they're going into Alex's Project Sky and I love this type of suspension because it'll actually allow us to dial in exactly what we want the vehicle to do uh, under Alex's control. Okay, well this is like the extreme end of it in terms of uh, adjustability and and just what, what it will. You crazy? No not at all it just it just <laughs> it's it just it is the extreme on the end of the spectrum for for maximum performance this is it right here. So this is the front and then these are the front Control arms, yeah, lower control arms. And again, um, beautiful. beautiful, beautifully uh, engineered and beautifully built. And I love how there's so much adjustability in this. Um, and it also, as you can see, there's no rubber here, full bearings. No rubber? Yeah, no and rubber. Why is that important, Yusik? Well, what rubber does is if I have like a rubber bushing here, what will happen is throughout the motion of the tra the, the arms moving, they won't just stay exactly the way these arms are. They'll, they'll move around in the, in the uh, bushing. So you're going to get deflection. And when that happens, uh, the line that you're holding with your suspension, with the steering wheel, it'll change. So you'll have to make all sorts of adjustments. It won't be, a, yeah, it won't be as precise. And this will, this will give you that precision, like you can like really carve a corner out and it'll, you know, maximize your smile factor. Wow. <laughs> Great. Let's move on to the rear of the car. Let's start off with those. Sure. Trailing arms? Yeah, rear trailing arms. The factory trailing arms are designed in case you, you hit like a curb or something, it'll fold really easily. Um, so they're not as stiff, right? Uh, this guy here is as stiff as you can make a, wow. a rear control arm or trailing arm. It looks pretty beefy. It's super beefy. Wow. Yeah. So this is not going to deflect anything. Uh, but if you do hit something sideways, Alex, it, it is going to destroy your subframe. Yeah. I gotta be careful. Right? Yeah. All right. And then what moving are along. Yeah. Same, same deal. These are all like lower control arms, uh, upper control arms. Again, they're all uh, completely free of rubber. Uh, they're all bearings. So wow. uh, because they're bearings, they're going to be um, moving like they're going to want to turn. That's what bearings do. Right. Whereas uh, a bushing with a, a, a rod in the middle, it's going to be twisting as you're moving through the range. So this is going to be, you know, maximum zero deflection and just all around awesome feel. Wow. Yeah. And then let's move on to some of these smaller parts over here. So like, sure. what are these? Like these, I guess, are the bump steer roll center correction. Yeah, this is for the rear uh, of the suspension. They go in the, the rear spindle of the vehicle. And again, it's going to do the same thing. So like, just like how the front, we correct the bump steer, we got to do the same for the rear. Uh, and and because nobody wants to induce a, a drift in the middle of a highway or something when you hit a bump, right? So, so like these will these will allow us to dial in exactly where we want the arms to be. So even when you lower the vehicle, what's going to happen is instead of the trailing arm sitting like this in the car static, you're going to be more like that. So then you have all this range of suspension travel. And why is that important? For safety. Yeah, um, because if you're already at this, this range, you don't have much to go and the geometry change is too extreme, right? So you're going to get like, in, like crazy camber gain uh, and that type of thing or toe, toe gain and that will uh, in, either induce a slide into the vehicle or just make it not that fun to drive because it'll get a little hairy. How does this all come together to get a Shermer-esque style build? Well, we can dial it in like exactly the way we want it. And then also sprinkle some spice on there to make a handle just that much better. Can you just do like a salt day sprinkle? Kind, like yeah, a little bit of this. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at like the front tie rod ends here, uh, this, this is for bump steer. And what bump steer is um, in the middle of a corner, 
if your suspension geometry is out of whack uh, and you hit a bump, it'll actually steer for you, which is very unnerving, especially when you're at the limit of what the vehicle is doing. So that eliminates the bump steer. So we can get the ride height the way we want, like nice and low, you know, uh, all track set up, but still be able to like rip around corners without worrying about bumps. Uh, that way Alex can maximize his entry speed and exit speed. I'm kind of curious, what are they exactly made of? Um, it starts off as a block of aluminum, 7075 T6 aluminum. So, and it's aerospace grade, so it's like the highest grade you can get, wow. um, yeah, for this. And then, and then they mill it literally from a complete block. So uh, this started off as a, a, a block of aluminum, a big chunk. It wasn't, it wasn't cast, it wasn't forged, any of that. It was just straight up cut out like this on a CNC machine. That's why it's so beautiful. Yeah, and look, it even has the engraving on the other side. Yes. For the MK, beautiful. Yeah. Wow. And if you look carefully, you can see where all the, the machine marks are from, from the machine cutting it all down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it. Wow. Really, really cool. Mm -hmm. hey, man, you got fingerprints on it. Sorry, you're, sorry. You're going to have to spit Sorry, my bad, bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. said, do you think with all of these parts that you guys see right here, do you think that we can maybe get this handling better than a Ferrari? What do you think? Um, I don't know. It depends on the Ferrari, but for sure you can eat GT3s with this. So you think, why would somebody want all of these parts for their car? So one of the main reasons why someone would want these parts is because it gives you full adjustability and full control of what you can do with the vehicle. And for you, Alex, I know you want that hardcore motorsport feel, and this is actually the only thing that can offer that type of feel for you. Um, there's some people that you know like to have the lowered look and everything, still have proper geometry, uh, but not the, not the NVH that's involved. These are a little bit more like uh, higher maintenance parts too. So like we gotta make sure these bearings are always clean if we're gonna use it on the street because we don't want the dirt to get in there and actually destroy the bearings. So there is a little bit of maintenance involved, but at the same time, if you want that maximum motorsport feel, like there's really no other option. This is it right here. That was super fun. I got to talk about something I love, suspension. If you have any questions about the stuff that we talked about today or just as excited about it as we are, comment below and stay tuned for next time because we'll be installing these. Right? Yeah, they're super beefy. So these are T... <laughs>